flame of love. Blessings of the Christmas light. To celebrate the birth of Christ. Today, we would like to meditate on a very important teaching of Christ. I presume that it is the core teaching of the researchers of truth. In our prayer, we see the words at the end Clean our heart to reflect your love towards you and towards all other human beings. Also, in one of our seven promises, we say, I promise to myself to love and serve my fellow human beings sincerely from the depth of my heart and soul, no matter what their behavior may be towards me. Why? Why do we have to love not only ourselves, but also love other people unconditionally? Why is love so important? But before we start, I would like to introduce how to approach the meaning of teaching deeper. When we try to understand something very important, first, we put our attention on that, and we read it again and again, research, investigate on that, and try to penetrate into the core meaning of it. We accumulate information noetically, and we feel like that we understand the teaching. But at this level, the teaching is still remaining outside of us, as the object of our noetical knowledge. So we can't say that we understand it fully yet. For example, when we want to know about water, we focus on water, research about it, and accumulate knowledge about water. But without touching, without tasting it, can we really say that we know water? We have to experience and attune with water. Yes, in the same way, not only accumulating the knowledge, we have to experience and express the teaching, attuning with its meaning. Then one day, we will find that we are the teaching itself, which is the moment we can say that we really understand the teaching fully. And this experiential knowledge will be never taken away from us. I would like to narrate the teaching from now. So first, Relax and put your all attention on its meaning. And next, practice to express and experience it, attuning with the meaning of it. About two thousand years ago, there was an equal sided triangular marble stone tablet in the middle of the altar of the Holy of Holies in the temple, the synagogue of Essenes. Joshua Emmanuel the Christ wrote and installed this tablet 
in the middle of the altar. Only people who developed self-consciousness were allowed to get close, because the radiation of the altar was too strong and dangerous for normal people. In the middle of the altar, there used to be two big white marble tablets, in which ten commandments were carved. But Christ set them aside on the altar and placed his triangular tablet in the middle, right behind the olive oil lamp, and said this way. I didn't come to violate the law, but I came to complete it, and this completes it. On his triangular tablet, it is said this way: "I am the Lord, God." Your God, in your being, love the Lord. Your God in you, in your being self, and love your God in every human being as your self. Please close your eyes. Let's meditate on this precious Christ teaching. First, concentrate on the meaning of the words. This self means your inner self as God, not your present-day personality self. It means. The Christ Logos is God in you. Love God, your real self in you, and also love God in all other people. Express your love to others, because your real self is love itself. And the God in all others is also your real self. Why do you have to love both God in you and God in other people? Here, Christ is teaching. The safest and the wisest way towards self-realization. When you are self-realized, at the same time, you will realize that you are love. You will be love itself. Love is God. God is love. They are the same. But what is called love here is pure, unconditional love beyond the scale. This love is the kinesis. The motion and the movement. This love creates and maintains all the planetary, the solar, the galaxy systems, and all the movement of the universes. This love is everlasting, life light. Which makes all living things possible. 
all the universes are filled with this love and governed by this unconditional love. Then, what's the difference of your current expression of love and this divine love? How can you approach to this unfathomable love fire with a small candle flame of love light that you are expressing now? Overcoming all the forces of duality, all the levels of conditional human love, after uncountable incarnations, one day you will unfold this unconditional love, your true divine nature. And with this love, you will work as an invisible helper to help other people. You will remember that you are an archangel and work for creation in the universes with other archangels. And eventually, you will express this love as a planet a sun and a central sun of a galaxy to serve for the divine plan. You will be loved in the universes. Attune yourself with this ultimate pure love. Love without any expectation to be loved. Love just giving for others and for the entire purpose. And now ignite the flame of your love light. And coordinate your love with the universal love. Breathe deeply and feel your entire chest. And visualize that you are a sun that emits love light from your heart center in all directions. Flame of your love has a gentle pale pink color and radiates beautifully, resonating with the universal flame of love. Feel your innermost self, God in you. See the flame of your love light start to expand and bathe people around you. Express pure love, God in you. Experience joy in giving you love. When you give, you receive. By giving, you are receiving. Attuning yourself with this divine law. Expand your love flame bigger and even bigger now.
Don't be afraid. Since this love is unconditional, just give it. So no matter what the people's reactions are, just keep expressing your love flame. And embrace all in your love. When you express the same quality of love which God expressed, this harnesses your personality with your God, and you will remember what you really are. And you will see that all people around you are inside of you, not separated outside of you. And you will experience the state that everyone is in everyone. Everything is in everything. And all are united harmoniously with ultimate love. In this way, you can understand God. You can't understand God with your head, nor with your material eyes. You can understand God only with your heart, by attuning His pure love, your God in you, and expressing it to others. Rest are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. God can be understood only by God. I would like to recite Christ's teaching again. I am the Lord, God, your God in your being. Love the Lord, your God in you, in your being self. Love your God in every human being as your self. After opening your eyes after this meditation, keep expressing your love and understand this teaching. By your own experience, that will be done. Amen. Slowly come back to your material body and present environment again.
for those who feel resistance to the word Christ. Please have a little space in your heart once again to understand the truth about Christ. He is the pure way of love of God. He came on earth to prepare the way of love to human beings. Jesus Christ Logos was destined to visit the human beings on the planet to guide us towards love. It happened because the self consciousness of human beings had reached a certain stage at that time. He was born in Bethlehem in a human body and anchored the ray of love. On this planet, showing his unconditional love all the time until the very end of his human life. But after his time on earth, we human beings covered his teaching of love with dogma, religious prejudice, and self interest. And as a result, so much bloodshed has caused in his name. We are educated and covered by this misconception about Christ. That's why we feel resistance. Daskar said, Christian is not the religion. Christian just means to love each other. Love God in us and love God in all others. It is the simplest and the wisest teaching of Christ. The pure Ray of love from God in me to God in you. Merry Christmas.